Hey, what's up? Let's do some more Odd Taxi. This is episode six. I'm really looking forward to jumping into this episode. Um, especially last episode, like, I had wanted to see, like, the the date between Shiho and... I still can't remember his name, but the guy, the bachelor guy, I wanted to see their date because I thought, you know, I, I was curious if it was going to be cute or if it was going to be just deeply sad or, and what I, what I found was it was like a weird mix between the two, but it did end in a very sad way because it looks like he took out a fucking loan uh, to go on the date, which is, which is not good. That's not good because he, it's an expensive date. He took out a pretty big loan, and now he might be in real trouble. So I'm kind of scared for him, but um, but I love this show. I love the sort of complexities of these characters and um, and just the style of everything that's going on. I mean, I it, I really really love this show, so I can't wait to watch more. Let's jump into episode six. Make sure to support the video if you can, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and go to my Patreon account for full length early access and exclusive videos. Um, so here we go. This is uh, Odd Taxi episode six. Wait, is this different? Is it or am I going crazy? It is. What the fuck? Is this a shorter version? I, it feels like a shorter version. Oh, it's probably at the... Probably means we don't get the sax solo. That's kind of sad. But that's fine. It's kind of cool that they have a short version. It's the Mystery Kiss fan again. You actually remember Oh, that's it? right. This More guy. I did forget I'm him. Glad to, from my perspective, you practically saved my life. How did I save your life? Really? Well, maybe I wouldn't go... So to me, you're pretty much a god. Whoa, it's Mystery Kiss! Can you tell us why? So or actually, God, maybe. Just Otokawa. <laughs> Mr. Otokawa, I guess? I, uh, I guess so. <laughs> I knew you would, Mr. Otokawa! I... The last time you saw me, I used them and won the lottery. Really? Whoa. That's, amazing. That's it? That's your reaction? I mean, you I won the lottery. Numbers. I won a billion yen. Whoa! You're kidding. No, for real. Jeez. I haven't claimed my winnings yet. If that's true, I'd be so be nervous. That around. I tell you at least. What do you mean in real life? You I told spread it online. online but, oh, you know, that's different. Besides, this is way too big for me to keep to myself. I right. have to tell someone the news, right? Mystery kiss CDs you want. Like you know me they mentioned lifetime. this last yes, episode. I, I remember now. So we can... No, no way. I've got to do something. Isn't there anything you need money for? Not particularly. I mean, yeah, then give me 30% or something. Your family or someone you care about? It's kind of nice that he's trying to share it with him. In that case, let me ask, are you free at the moment? As you can see, I'm in the middle of work. <laughs> I'll pull day. Just let me take you somewhere, okay? This is... This is it's surprisingly really nice. Necessary. Right here. I work here. It's a cabaret day. But I think clock. he wants to want anything, share the I'm excitement of something. winning with someone. Free service for life. He might not have many real life friends to like hang out with. So he can't celebrate with anyone. Oh my gosh. Uh, actually, I have to drive, so. Is there a drink and hang out? Hey! The best. We're going to have some nice fun. Oh my gosh. This is strange. Is this really your kind of scene? Where are you going? Come on. Don't be like that. Relax. Enjoy yourself a little more. It's not his vibe. Not everyone likes that sort of thing. Means something in particular? My man, are you buying a ring? <laughs> Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn! The dude's here. Tanaka. Tanaka's here. He probably followed the taxi. He did follow the taxi. We saw him following the taxi. Out to the back door. It's hidden from the front of the house. Oh. This guy's really on Otakawa's side. What is this? A costume? You're a bit early. Mm, you didn't. Halloween, oh, yeah. dude. Careful. Year, but time I've seen a one man riot. <laughs> oh my god, he's still doing a comedy routine. <laughs> the guy can't turn it off. Oh. What? Okay. Okay, well, you didn't shoot him. If I got shot, it'd be a good bit. <laughs> mind. <laughs> That's funny. She's waiting outside for him. What did you mean by 
don't get involved with me again. She came here to confront him about it. This man, Odakawa, is completely ignoring me. <laughs> down. We'll scare the neighbors. Fine, let me inside then. I really we'll love talk her. Outside. Is someone in there? I, yeah, what's the deal with this fucking door that's half open? Oh, man. What happened to your car? So many mysteries. So, what do you want? I want to be with you. <laughs> I'm ashamed to admit it, but I was. Let me explain. Don't oh. try to pull that on me. And I've no expectation of you telling me what you know. Okay. First off, it's true. Dobu and I used to date. You're starting with something I didn't know at all. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. About wow. four years. I won't listen if you're going to cry. Besides, Aww. it's none of what you were like. And what did you tell him? That you're a grumpy loner taxi driver. <laughs> that's just how it started. Over time, I really began Spare to. Spare me. I don't want to hear it. I mean, that's true because so, she's still here now. She still wants to be with you. Based on that, he probably uh. needs a taxi as his getaway car. Okay. In this day and age, bank robbery. I know. Yeah, he said weird. now was the time to do it. I'll leave him be for now. Maybe even pretend to help him rob a bank. Oh my god. All right then. Three million yen. That must Damn. after four years accomplice to his crimes. He'd beat me if I didn't. Oh. Actually, he's really a weak person. I couldn't just leave him. <laughs> ah, I see. Wait, Otakawa, please. I mean, Otakawa was right to feel all, all this truth, way. I swear. But I, I love her. My debt. That reason is because I love you. Oh. <laughs> For the last time, he's not going to accept that. Don't get involved with me. Yeah. Ever again. I mean, he likes you. <laughs> he just doesn't want you to be hurt. He doesn't want you to be hurt because of him. And he feels betrayed. Oh God. It really shook me up. I had a gun pointed at me. The police yes, he did. me afterward, too. How'd you do it? I told him to shoot me if he could. What happened next? <laughs> well, in deference to interesting stories. If you can't talk about it, what's the point? <laughs> what are you up to this? Busy, busy. I haven't slept much. Mm, here's the lone oh, rhino. Always doing that. As if they don't make him a shark. I've been thinking lately that the comedy that doesn't hurt anyone is best. It's totally fine to hurt one person to make ten people laugh. It just makes people <laughs> dislike you. Making a bunch of weird faces? Rolling your eyes with your tongue out? Does that do it for you? I mean, it's a He's bit more complicated than that. Mail. He said he'd stop by after work if he was feeling up to it. You know, you seem different lately, Kakihana. Oh, yeah? He's in a better mood, but also <laughs> he's in a worse situation. Would it be okay to shake your... Knock him a girl, please. I totally agree. Oh, shit. Huh? People rolling their eyes isn't funny. Oh my god, this is the sort of fan base you have, my Who man. Are you? <laughs> Let's go. It's me, Nagashima! Satoshi Nagashima! Ah. Yeah, I mean, when you start talking about cancel culture and complaining about it, those are the fans you get. Oh my god. Jesus! I underestimated the kind of influence the internet has. Yeah, Anyone man. Could be the enemy now. It can really spiral. It serves you right. Watch closely. See, it's like he's searching for someone. He was searching for you, my center, man. Right? When I'd say someone's trying to make you twist and squirm by torturing you to death. Oh my Attacking god! You mentally first. It's like you're actually not scared to die. Oh, I'm. Scared. I'm pretty scared of it. Of course, I'm scared. Of whatever's happening to Odagawa. Then look, this Halloween psycho is trying like to this music. You, and I need to get my gun back before it's examined. Mm. Why don't we fight together? I want you to get intel on what he's up to. I'm doing all the work here. <laughs> I'm asking you to do it without any hassles. All right, mm. fine. Okay. Then we have an agreement, allies. I want to add another condition to this arrangement. Oh. Which is free Shirakawa. Yes. Let her go. Yes. Consider her dead. Fuck yeah. Full. All right, fine. Yes! I will cut her loose. Good job. Wait, cut her loose? Hopefully that phrasing isn't, I'll kill her. <laughs> I remember giving him a ride one time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. I've seen our group photo on many occasions. Run and walk around town. You're going to wear that okay. skull mask? Either way, I expect to run into him at some point in time. Really? Pretty much the self-aggrandizing type. I'll head to Tai Chi Kamasawa Okay, Kamasawa's I guess we'll see. Pick him up. I'm good at finding people in a crowd. Oh, yeah? Hmm. 
If anything, it's weird you guys are so bad at it. <laughs> it's weird. Sometimes people just love idiots, you know? You think I'm an idiot. Not in a bad <laughs> way, in a class clown sort of way. That's still not so... You've got this virtuous je ne sais quoi quality. At the end of the day, you've got <laughs> solid breeding. I bet there's not many... Je ne sais quoi is a good way to describe you. someone when That's you don't know true. what to My say. My partner probably hates me. That day is round three of the N1, but I could do it after. Uh, seriously? Give it up. Come on, man. I spent a year he wants to. That. I mean, it's his, so, his thing. You can't just cut in and go, nah, uh, you have to cancel your see. shit. I'm really counting on you. I've got high hopes for you, Baba. He's so much more dismissive after he made him adjust the schedule. Do it. Oh, Whoa, hey, what hey. are you doing? The producer left, so I figured the coast was clear. It's been really hard to see you recently, though. Yeah, Aww. Sorry. Work has been non -stop. Are these two together? And Told did we know that? No need to push so hard. Our debut single drops on Christmas, so today I'm promoting it. There's a big <laughs> concert that cute. same day as a tie-in. Really? If everything goes well, they said they'd get us into Budokan. Awesome. Mm, cool. I'm for you. The fact that you're usually the opposite of my excessive ambition, Baba. <laughs> I've always liked that, that you're a failure. I'm... Then what's the problem? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I don't want to pet with a horse face. <laughs> what a funny interaction. Yes, I know. Let me know if your schedule opens up and I'll move mine to match it. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> when then? Round three is next week, you know. I know. It's just... Every what was it closing in on him? Today? Filming a drama in the morning. How about you tell him when you're filming? Recording a special. Overseas shoot. Oh my god. Once again, some awesome music. This guy's getting left behind. Okay, nice. That was a good episode. Now, um... All cards on the table, right? I have my note. I always take notes during episodes, right? Um, and... I, the back half of the episode, I didn't take any notes because I dropped my pen. <laughs> Hold on. Where did it go? Found it. Oh my gosh. I couldn't find it. I dropped it halfway through and then I was looking around and I couldn't find it and I went, I can't get distracted. So I just decided to go the back half of the episode without writing any notes. So, um, you know, hopefully it's fine. Um, but I'll try to talk about the back half earlier. So we... We have the two comedy guys, and they're sort of, like, in going in different directions in their life, kind of. Um, and, I mean, it's it's strange, because they're not, they're not very successful together, it seems like. It seems like they're, st they're kind of, you know, trending downwards constantly, um, and barely treading water. So, it, like, this guy... Um, who's succeeding. I think his name was Baba or something. Um, he is seemingly on the up and up, but because of that, he has to sort of like leave his friend behind, which is very sad. Um, but, uh, but he also seems to be in a relationship, a secret relationship with Rui, the, the lead idol girl. Um, and, and that's, that, that was like a nice little scene. I mean, it was, there was, like, the aspect of it where it's, like, she was saying, like, oh, don't worry about the fact that you're not successful. Like, I kind of like about you that you don't have, like, that you're the opposite of my heavy ambition or whatever. Um, which maybe implies, like, <laughs> like, in the same way that you have the Shiho who is looking for someone rich, you know, so someone possibly to support her and, and give her like a grander lifestyle. Um, it's possible that um, Rui is looking for someone who she kind of feels uh, like higher than, you know what I mean? Like that she doesn't, she can't feel inferior to, but I don't, I don't know that for a fact because I also think that was like a sweet scene. And so like that that's just you know one reading of what what she said but i don't know that that's actually like how she feels um i i want to believe that it's just a a you know a, a, an actual supportive relationship and she's just trying to make him feel better um and doing the best she can because it seems like she genuinely did 
love him from the small amount that we saw. So, um, so that was adorable. I mean, yeah, she specifically like was seeking him out because she wanted to see him more because they don't get time to see each other anymore. So, um, so it, it seems sweet. It seems nice. Um, let me actually look at the the episode backwards a little bit to see. Oh yeah, and so Dobu and Odakawa are gonna be working together now. Um, and Odakawa was gonna have to find the guy who's hunting down Dobu, and Dobu is gonna be hunting down Tanaka. It's, you know, it's a pretty cool little matchup. I think pretty early on, I I knew that they were going to be setting up Dobu as, like, someone that Odakawa works with because his character was, like, the gangster but did have some sort of, like, complexity to him and he wasn't, like, evil and against Dobu necessarily. So, I mean, against Odakawa necessarily. So, um, so I saw that there was... You know, there, there was something going on there and he would become, like, a, a pretty big part of it. Um, man, that guy apparently won the lottery, but he still hasn't claimed the, the cash from it yet. See, if I ever won the lottery, like, whenever I have something really good happen to me, but it hasn't been necessarily 100% confirmed yet, I tend to hold that close to my chest. Not just I don't tell anyone, but I even, like tell myself that it's not true until it happens like it's you know like I'll, I'll go like oh but what if it if it's true that would be so good but at the same time i'll i'll go through my life and this is like kind of an i'm a very positive guy but this is like a negative um mindset that i tend to have where it's like i i'm just like but i have to tell myself it's 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 fake it's too good to be true it's actually not gonna happen um and i keep telling myself that until I actually have it in front of me. So in this case, until I actually hand in the lottery ticket and they give me the money and I have the money in my bank account or whatever, that's when I'm gonna start going, holy shit, I won the lottery. And then I can tell people like, oh my God, I won the lottery. Um, but I mean, also people do say, you know, if you win the lottery, don't tell people because people are gonna come out and try to take your money or they'll like, you know, you won't know who's really your friend or people are gonna try to like manipulate you to give whatever but for me I don't know I feel like if I won the lottery like it's up to me what I do with that money right and if I have like and so I I'm not you know gonna be just giving it to to anyone who asks for money um and if there are people who are like r trying to get money off of me and I see that happening then I'm kind of like weeding out you know, people who who actually don't care about me that much, who are only using me for the money. And so that, you know, I feel like it's... In my mind, it's kind of okay. I mean, I understand the idea of it. It could be sort of dangerous. And also, some people don't want to, like, play those politics. They don't want to know which of their friends are going to do that. But I think, like, I wouldn't want to win the lottery and have to keep that a secret my whole life, you know? Like, it just... It feels like that's such a crazy thing to have happened. And to then go around and just pretend everything's normal when you have this like really crazy thing that happened to you, it just it it would it would be insane to me. So like I don't think I'd be able to hold it in just because of that on its own. Um, so but so I get his giddiness at winning the lottery, but really like I would wait until you got the money. I would really wait. Um, and I mean especially it's especially bad that he's like posted about it online, but he still hasn't claimed the ticket. Like people could take the ticket from him and it'd be very bad um and also this episode had a um had a short op uh which was interesting like i i noticed it pretty early on because there was like the ooh like earlier in the song and i was like what's going on here it's sad that because it's a shorter op they cut the um saxophone solo but if it, that's like a, cause some shows do that. I don't tend to see anime do this very often, but some shows will do like, they have a longer version of the OP um, and a shorter version of the, the opening. I, I say OP, but that's a Japanese term. It t The opening um, thing, like for example, Community, um, you did have like a, um, they used to have a, uh, like the the full version of the opening with the whole song give me some rope tie me to dream but then they uh sometimes would just do that i can't count the reasons i should stay and then it would like just be 
uh, it would just, you know, fade out or whatever. Um, and then really early, I think there was also like a do 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 There was like a different theme and it was like a really, really short opening. Um, but then as the show went on, I think they eventually gave up on doing the short opening. Like, I think it, by season two, like partway through season two or whatever, they just weren't doing the short opening ever, ever anymore. Because it was like, they were saving themselves like, I don't know, 20 seconds or whatever. And it was just less interesting. I imagine that was the reason. Like, it was like, what's the point? We're giving ourselves like one extra joke maybe in the episode. But we're like making the episodes less consistent. So, um... And we're not, like, making the most out of this song that can be used for branding and stuff. That's what I imagine the reason would be. Like, I didn't like... I don't tend to like when the when we get the short version of the opening. Because I like openings to a lot of stuff, you know? I really like openings. Um, but also, sometimes in anime, like, I like when there's no OP. Because that tends to mean, like, oh, this is an important episode. Like, no OP today. Unless it's ReZero, in which case that just means it's a regular episode because ReZero sometimes just goes like, we're not going to have an OP. Like, we ha we made an OP and we're going to use it for one, maybe two episodes and then the rest of the episodes we're not going to have one because we have too much content to cram in. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's just so they have a shorter OP in this show, um, which is, is interesting. Um, but I do hope, you know, in at least some more episodes we still have the long OP because I want to hear that sax solo, you know? I really love it. Um, and yeah, I still love Miho. N nothing else to say there, but I just, I love that character. I love that woman. I, I'm so attached to her. I don't want anything to happen to her. And I'm so glad that um, Odokawa said to Dobu, like, hey, my other condition is you're dropping her debt. No more debt for her. I really love that. Anyway, that is on Taxi episode nine, I think. Um, thank you for joining me. Make sure to support the video if you can, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and go to my Patreon account for full-length early access and exclusive videos. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.